Uranium friends checking in on the ETFs, URA, URNM, URNJ. So, yeah, uh, we're going to start with URNM because URNM is in blue sky breakout. Uh, a couple of, last couple of days have been great moves. Uh, let me just see one thing. Let's see where we are after hours. Yeah, so even more extension after hours. So it's going to likely to see a gap up tomorrow, gap up opening. You know, a lot of traders call gap ups, uh, gap ups are for selling, whatever. You know, I don't really trade around with the ETFs a lot uh, unless I get good spots to enter. But URNM is in blue sky breakout and, um, you know, no resistance now, right? So it's just a matter of how much money starts flowing into it. So, uh, you know, nothing overly special about our volume so far, right? Uh, November 2021. Let's see what it was looking like over there. So, yeah, I mean, we're kind of in that volume range, okay? Um, I'd like to see more volume, but it's URNM. Uh, I think it's mainly retail. So, yeah, uh, URNM, Blue Sky Breakouts, no uh, no issues here. Even the RSI isn't running that hot. If you look at the monthly, um, you know, you've got a pretty prime setup for a cup and handle type of look here. But, you know, that's kind of negated once it gets over this high here. So, And it did. And we're going to see that tomorrow. It's going to be a little bit up. So... Uh, yeah, but could you have that psychology of some sort of uh, consolidation pattern up here? Yeah, I mean, but that, that's just what it is. But right now, all we care about is URNM in a blue sky breakout. URNJ to juniors. Everybody's looking for the juniors to play catch up. Uh, it's probably a great way to play uh, if you want some more torque. And it's probably the same deal here, right? I would say it's going to do, because it does a lot more like URNM. Yeah, so it's up and over too. So, you know, it could be looking at a gap up uh, opening tomorrow also. So, uh, was that 25.90? Did it get there yet? Yeah, it's up and over. So, um, Blue Sky Breakout for URNJ uh, in after hours trading. Let's see how it holds tomorrow. Uh, I know I, I saw a bunch of guys they've loaded up here. So uh, in the past day or two, which is which is great. It's fine. I'm perfectly happy with anybody doing well. Uh, yeah, a good hourly pivot here. So yeah, personally, I'll be looking for that. URNJ is actually tradable in that it does have a little bit more volatility. So uh, it, it will provide some sort of opportunity. Again, everything's running hot on these hourly. So you know, consolidation of some sort, even if it's not tomorrow, maybe next week, even if it's hourly or four hour consolidation. I mean, those are the spots where I'm going to be looking to add. You know, I'm in position in all three ETFs, pretty comfortable, and I could uh, go either way. If it just keeps going, it just keeps going. So that's URNJ. Also in Blue Sky Breakout, uh, URNM, uh, just on these dailies, URNM's a bit of a laggard as far as price action is concerned. And as far as testing its recent highs from December, um, but, you know, that can change. So if I'm looking anywhere, honestly, I'm looking at URA as my laggard play at the moment. I, I like to watch URA. I follow URA closer than uh, a lot of the other players in the space because, in my opinion, what we're looking for truly is fund flows. And I think you're going to see it. It'll it'll reveal itself here in URA more than anything else. So that's kind of where, it, and I'm sure this is probably testing as well. Yeah, it's testing its uh, recent highs from December um, after hours. But, you know, it's still got a little bit to go. So the laggard really is URA. So if I have confidence in this continuation in this move, uh, URA would be my play. Uh, I'm not going to be taking it personally. Uh, again, calls, physical, I have. I have all three ETFs with calls and physical. Um, but I will be looking for an hourly pivot like we had this morning, right? So uh, the pullback in the morning was was a good, good play. Again, hourly is running hot. 
doesn't normally stay up here too long without at least getting some relief. So I'm just going to be looking for an hourly higher low as opposed to yes, today's low, uh, which is 2836 area. So uh, that's it on these uh, ETFs. Uh, everything looking good in the space. Um, you know, if, if you're concerned about your juniors and all your uh, – Shitcos isn't the word, but if you if you if you're concerned about your junior explorers, you you really want to see these two moving the most, right? So the, this is where the torque comes. Everybody's hoping for uh, the big move. Uh, you know, things are looking good. Hundred dollar spot, uh, triple digits are big. Let's just see if there's a rejection. You know, but in, in my opinion, and what I am doing is that I am trying to catch pivots right now for trading shares i'm in position and i'm ready to go so this will all just be trading and ads over and out